This tip is for parents of alienated teenagers. Where should you have difficult conversations? Should you have it on the couch with you standing or sitting in front of them? No, my advice is to have difficult conversations in your car. Why? Because first of all, you are in a confined space. You're very close to them. You're shoulder to shoulder almost. And, but yet they're not. You're traveling down a highway or you're going down the street. They're not gonna feel trapped by you. So what you do is you approach a topic like this. Hey, I just, hey uh, of course, tell them to put down their phone first, right? Because they're playing on their phone. Say, so, hey, I just wanna talk to you real quick about something and start into the conversation. It might be about what happened in court a few years ago. It might be what's going on, maybe some drama with a alienating parent. Whatever it is, if you approach it in the car and you have a nice demeanor, just like I'm talking right now, very, just very normal, you're not accusing the parent of doing anything and just have a, a, a chit chat, a talk, you, they will listen to you, trust me. And also throw in there, if you can, a question or two because the alienating parent and the alienating environment is so controlling that the, chil the children are very, very ra rarely asked questions. So if you can throw some questions in there as well, get them uh, to get their opinion on something or ask for their advice or suggestion, you're gonna make inroads and you can get so much information across to them that you normally would be afraid to or wouldn't know how to. So when you wanna have a difficult conversation with your teenage teenager alienated child, my recommendation is to have it in the car. It works.